Hello. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I tried to film a video between this one and the previous one that I put out. It's a craft video. Um, I'll give you some of the footage later when we talk about the craft because I'm going to try to do it today. Um, but it's just too much work. So I thought, what could I do? What could I do that I would enjoy, you know? I saw somebody else do a week in their life, a little week in their life vlog, and I thought that might be interesting to me. I don't know about to you. I know I'm not gonna get a lot of views actually, but here we are. It's a Sunday. I woke up at 11. It's now 12.47. Um, I'm eating lunch right now, which is pasta and a salad. I hardly ever eat pasta, you guys. Like I talked to my friend, um, I have this really close friend that I send food pictures of everything I eat to him. And he always says that I only eat Asian food. So uh, this is the first time in a while that I'm not cooking Asian food for myself. So I'm gonna eat that. And I'm meeting a friend at three to go sit in a cafe. I'm gonna study Kazakh. I think he'll work on Russian. He's learning Russian now. He was learning Kazakh before. <laughs> try there. But before that, I think I'm gonna try to work on the craft that I was going to do for the video, but I'm just going to make the craft because uh, making the video along with it is just sucking the joy out of it. Yeah, and my eyes have been really strained by um, looking at my phone and the computer. I've been looking at my phone too much these days. So instead of watching something for lunch today, I'm going to listen to a podcast and I've been trying to get into podcasts. Not again, I wasn't like ever super into them, but um, I used to make a podcast for language learning. I'll put a link in the bio. And also I'm working on a podcast, a secret podcast, but um, I like podcasts, especially ones that tell stories. Um, two people talking, they're okay too. Actually the one I'm working on with my sister is just two people talking, but I found this podcast, Life with Leo, and it's from a group called Atypical Artists. Anyways, it's about, um, it's in the future where this lawyer gets a robot, uh, si uh, he's not a robot actually, an android, an android delivered to her. And it's highly illegal um, because of its nature. So I'm totally into it. So I'm gonna eat and listen to my little podcast. <laughs> <sighs> the dreaded, craft. It's a wreath that's fall themed, I guess. It's so much work. I made the mushroom, it's basically a mushroom wreath, I guess you could say. I made the mushroom caps for the video. I don't understand anything! Did I really just make all of this for this much? Ah! It's more work than I thought and I'm not having fun. I'm still listening to the podcast I was listening to, which that is more fun. I finished before three! <laughs> now, I realize that the mushrooms that I made are way too small compared <laughs> to the photo. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny in comparison. And let me tell you, these mushrooms were so hard to make. I don't know if it looks any good, but it's cute. It looks like effort. And I put in some extra leaves because clearly there's a lot of negative space up here. I don't know if it looks good or not, but I made it with my own two hands. And I'm proud of myself. And I made it before three. I changed because I need to get going to meet up with my friend to go study Kazakh. Let's go. This is my trainer friend, Edin. Oh, <laughs> you wanted me to learn some Russian. I did not say that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Edin and I met through his wife, actually, Kate. She's my coworker. And we became friends uh, because he was starting to learn Kazakh. That's not the reason why, but... Yeah, but it's <laughs> how it starts. Yeah, yeah, because he was like, oh, let's study Kazakh together. And this guy doesn't even study Kazakh anymore. But we are still friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he he's Turkish. So basically he can have conversations with people anyways. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. As much as I've learned, he can pick up like in two seconds. So we're going to head 
inside because my hand's about to freeze off. My other hand has glove in it, but let's go. This cafe has recently put out a new menu of a bunch of different teas. So we're on a mission to try all the teas. This one is Dikaya Vishnaya. So some cherry. It smells like Kool-Aid if you're from the US. It smells like Kool-Aid. <laughs> what does it taste like? I, I don't know, it actually doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Okay, so it tastes, the flavor is weak, mm. but it tastes like some type of rose and then the ghost of cherry Kool Aid. <laughs> and then asked me to come back on here <laughs> and clarify that once the tea had steeped longer, it was better. Okay. It looks better in person, but the sky looks nice. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> sky is the limit. It's Monday morning. I don't feel like the vibe that I'm giving out, but it's Monday morning. And there is a mock exam today, and I'm the technical, I'm one of the technical contacts for that. So basically, uh, when there's technical issues, because there's always technical issues when with an online test, people contact me calling me or messaging me, emailing me, and then I try to solve those problems. So we shall see how crazy it'll be today. It's over! I went to a cafe on campus in Karashai Sutpin, Satapaldam. And before you say, you go to a cafe just to order black tea with milk? You go to a cafe just to order coffee that you could do at your home? Don't judge me. I don't want to hear it. So, I have this. Someone messaged me. Kai, you messaged me if you're watching this. Hello. I've got a lot of work to do because we just had a um, paper submission and um, I'm the Moodle coordinator for that and everybody has to submit online so there's some online submission errors basically when people are submitting they submitted the wrong document so I need to go and fix all those issues so I'm gonna spend the rest of the day doing that basically so I'll see you after work it is after work fully dark and I'm on my way to go to the mall because I'm looking for tarot cards I recently joined a class, an online class, to learn how to read tarot cards. And it's completely in Korean. So I'm gonna take a Korean course on tarot and I need to go grab some tarot cards because I don't have any. So my friend told me there might be tarot cards at this store in the mall. So I'm gonna go there. Hopefully they have them. And hopefully I won't get caught filming. <laughs> Look, we're back in the same tunnel. It's like we never left. I went to the store. <laughs> they don't have any tarot in English. So not only am I learning how to read tarot in Korean, but now I have to translate my Russian tarot cards into English so I can understand. And they didn't have the exact tarot deck that I was looking for, but something similar. I'm also about to be late. I'm supposed to eat dinner at my friend's house. I have to go down to the store and buy something to bring. Some fruit or something. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be late. But this friend is Kazakh, so it's okay if I'm a little late. I got some grapes. Now on to my friend's house. I'm at Alina's house and we're gonna have pasta. She made this little salad and I'm surprised by all this fruit. I feel so lucky. It's like a real spread. Alina knows how to have guests and I wish I had her innate abilities. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We have my pasta should have some style, you know, this girlish mm -hmm. kind of style. Good morning. I woke up 
And then I prepped to do the podcast with my sister before work. It's Escola. <laughs> How can you not remember from all the ads we see? Now it's time for work. I'm off to the store. I thought I could have lunch at the mall and also go shopping, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time because the amount of time it takes to serve you, you know? And there's no fast food that's vegetarian and healthy really, so I'm gonna pick up something from the store, like the grocery store here, and I think I'm gonna cook at home, something quick. And I'm looking for a journal. I need to write down my notes for my tarot card class. And I have one complaint that I freaking always have. It's not this store, it's every store that sells paper. Is that it always has this grid, grid line stuff. And I hate it because I can't write that small. I just want horizontal lines, not grid. I actually own this exact book because I couldn't find any other things without grids. I'm, I'm angry. All right, we're back. Almost back, I'm, I'm walking back home now. But all this store took forever. I couldn't, I finally did. I finally did find horizontal lines. Yeah! <laughs> Um. <laughs> it's all in the CG sheet and they're marked in blue if they're one of the replacements. Um, so they don't have, so teachers don't have to decide who's grading what. It's after work and Edin and I are having some tea. Usually Edin gets coffee. Yeah, this time I want to get some tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like it. And I got my usual karashai soup pin. Um, and yeah, we're just, we're just chatting, making fun of people, making jokes, talking about people we know. Ignore the mess, but sometimes if I'm very lucky, my little kitten will be waiting in her bed by the door for me. You sleeping? You asleep, little kitty? Time for my tarot class. It's just online videos, so it's not like I have to sit there on a Zoom or anything. This is the book I, this is the notebook I bought. Horizontal lines only. Oh. It's 9.30 and I'm just starting to cook dinner. This is normal for me these days. I never eat early anymore. Um, and as I'm cooking dinner, which is gonna be something simple because I need to go grocery shopping. I'll probably go grocery shopping tomorrow. Here's the dilemma, babes. I should go to sleep. It's past midnight, but I'm not tired, even though I woke up earlier than normal. So, I don't know what to do. Watch a drama, do another class, an, uh, yeah, class, I guess, of the tarot. <laughs> Hello. I it's Wednesday and I started my day late. So anyways, I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm also going to listen to the podcast that my sister edited so I can give any notes if there needs to be any notes. So that's what I'll do while I'm eating. Instead of just sitting here like a lonely person, I'll just look weird smiling at myself <laughs> like a lonely person. It is trying to throw it in. Can I hit you on the face? <laughs> Not on the face! <laughs> Erin is going to the store. I have to do work, but I decided to come out and take a break. As I said, my eyes are freaking dying. And it's nice to not be looking at a screen. It's so like there oh shoot, I almost looked. There's a lot of snow today, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fluffy! 
feet. Look at that angel. Yeah. <laughs> this is all caught on camera, Eden. I'm not going to throw at you. I will throw at my angel. No. Just right past me. Oh, <laughs> Just... Random people. <laughs> And now it's back to work. I stopped by the cafe that's downstairs and got my Karashai suit pin. And also I have these little crackers or cookies. There's something in between. They're absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna have some of that while I get back to work. I think I need to work till about 8 p.m. today. And it's 5.37, so. I'm cooking dinner. Nobody's asked me. Oh, Rocky, what if you make kimchi, but it actually doesn't taste that good? What should you do? Can you just throw it away? And my answer is put it in some stew and the flavor will subside as long as it, you know, tastes a little bit like kimchi. It will work out. So that's what I'm making. I made some kimchi a while ago and it doesn't taste that good. I don't know what happened. I think it, I didn't ferment it long enough, but it just doesn't taste good. And you know what I'm doing? Maybe some kimchi stew. Thank you. Now, I've got my smoothie, which is just yogurt. <laughs> and I'm gonna start my Korean tarot card reading class. <laughs> 정의 카드입니다. 저스티스 정의 카드입니다. 오니기리 for lunch just egg and uh, no uh, furikake well it's like Korean furikake but furikake they look so cute Ooh. I'm gonna go to the cafe to work because I need a change I need a change of pace I haven't tried this yet <laughs> I was said I was gonna go to a cafe to work but then my friend Erin, who you saw before, said that we could go tomorrow. So I thought, oh, I don't want to go twice in a row. So I'll just go to a work or study space on campus. I needed a break. I needed a walk. My hands are so cold. It's freezing. It's snowed so much. I'm really tempted to roll down that hill. Maybe I will.
the sun's already setting. Can you believe it's only 5 p.m.? <sighs> Winter is here. Oh, but I love the snow when it's dry like this and fluffy. It's just so powdery and beautiful. I gotta go back inside and continue to grade some papers. It was a nice little break to hear the birds and play around in the snow, unsuccessfully roll down a hill. But I gotta go back and wreck my eyes again. It was a nice little eye break. My boss asked me to meet him very quickly about something, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not nervous, I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble, but... Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send him a separate email. Just, uh, I'm gonna just send everybody the same email. See, see, or put them all in one email. But it's, I mean, all the people who are covering. Ah! <laughs> no, no! because it's Friday and Evan told me yesterday we could work together today. Not that we're actually gonna do work together, we're working separately obviously. But we got the tea. You wanna show them the tea? Midovi Amaral. They always give me two forks, even if it's <laughs> blueberry cheesecake. Maybe it's the sign. He wants a bite. He wants a bite and that's why. He's joking about it. I'll give you a bite. Nice Nino! Good afternoon, it's Saturday and I've convinced Nick from the chips videos. We're going to buy some more chips, some crab flavor chips. <laughs> um, I've I asked him to help me buy some pet supplies because I want to donate them to a shelter and I don't know if I can carry it all myself. So I, I've asked Nick to go. He has a cat. Anyway, so he needs to go. I'm good at carrying things. Oh. I've got hands. <laughs> Don't so, put that in. That seems like a sort of bodyist. <laughs> ableist, ableist. Ableist. Yeah, take that out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is the second time we're shooting! I don't want people to think I'm showing off about the fact I have hands. Thank you. Stop by the store and strawberries, that many strawberries is over $10. Blueberries are a little less than $10. And so are raspberries just for that much. It's insane. I just got back home. Um, I said Nick carried the bag, but he carried it for like half the way back and I carried it the rest of the way. So, and I'm doing this because um, I, I wanted to do it on my birthday um, for some merit, even though my birthday was a few weeks ago. What do we have for dinner? I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Kimchi jjigae. Rice. And this is the first meal I'm having today at 8.26 p.m. I had a half a bag of chips at the hockey game, but I was just running around all day, so I didn't have time. I don't normally skip meals like this. It's an un 
natural. And I think I'll have a smoothie after this as well. Need a little. Need a little. Pico. Pico. I just realized it's our last night together. So, share a little smoothie with me. I didn't put any tofu in there. 